folks, it's good to see you again. We have a beautiful adventure here in Western Colorado today, and we're hoping you'll follow along with us. We are the Redhead and the Preacher, full-time RVers from Dallas, Texas. Hi, we're gonna have so much fun today. We are gonna go on adventure, like Bruce said. We're gonna go to uh, Uray, Colorado, and we are going to go on a Jeep tour with a group and we're going to uh, give you a review of the company and how good they did and how we like it and uh, value for money. Show you a little bit of Uray and we're going to tell you a few things on the trip there because it's, uh, I think, is it 49 miles, Bruce? Yes, it is. It is 49 miles. So it'll take us a while to get down. There's some beautiful scenery. You're going to see a lot today. So let's get started. We are going today with Colorado West Jeeps on a tour to Yankee Boy Basin that is a half day tour. We've got our lunch packed and it's going to be a great day. We're going to see some waterfalls. Hey, there's Bruce over there driving Everybody. the truck. <laughs> so it's going to be a fun day. Uray is located on the Million Dollar Highway, which by the way, we have done a video on. It is a historic mining town that dates from about 1875. Now we are entering Uray from the north, and the first thing we come to is the tourist delight, the hot springs. Okay, we are in the downtown area of Uray, a beautiful old town, uh, as you can see, with restaurants, motorcycle riders, <laughs> and lots of t-shirt shops. And you can see why they call it the... Um, Switzerland of America, right at the base of these mountains. Hey, that's where we're going. Sure is. Bruce, what are you, in the world are you looking at? I think I need a pair of these, don't you? Huh? <laughs> I don't think so. Why not? <laughs> Look good to me. <laughs> Well, Bruce didn't get to buy any of the souvenirs he wanted here in Uray. <laughs> so disappointed as I was, we made our way to the place where our tour was going to begin. You can see all the vehicles sitting around. Hi, how are you? Oh, great. We're so excited to be here. Is Bruce for the afternoon tour? Yes, that's Hi. us. Where are you guys from? Dallas. Oh, nice to have you. Time to leave on our tour, and here we are posing for a picture with Don, our, our guide and driver, very knowledgeable of the area. Yankee Boy Basin was our main destination for the day. But on the way, the first thing we came to was this small, tight canyon. Uh, with the Uncompagre River flowing below, I wanted you to see this cabin here in this picture. Uh, Don is holding a picture of what it looks like in the wintertime with all the ice. Uray is very famous for its ice climbing and not much uh, skiing done here. Who would have known that? Right. Who would know they have an <laughs> ice climbing festival? Yeah. And there was three little deer that led us out of town that was really interesting. It was so good not to be driving that day. The day was beautiful. We began at 7,800 feet for our altitude and went all the way up to 12,200 and I could watch the whole time. Yeah, that was great. And this is a place, a chimney that ice climbers like to come to also and climb here in the winter time. And Don is holding another picture here showing an ice climber uh, climbing up. We saw so many mines in the area and Don is getting ready here to tell us about one of the most important. 1896 to about 1914 was the largest producing gold mine in the United States. This was a big, big deal. This kept this, this was primarily a silver mining area with some gold. After we spent some time talking about the mines, we continued our trip to Yankee Boy Basin. And here we are in Yankee Boy Basin, and it was absolutely beautiful with waterfalls, and the scenery was just spectacular. There was only one other couple on our tour, it was Dennis and Sheila from Iowa and we had a lot of fun getting to know them and talking but they were amazed with the scenery just like us it was just spectacular and uh this is our tour vehicle here again but and this outhouse was right in the 
bottom of Yankee Boy Basin, I was astounded that it had a flusher on the floor. On this beautiful scenic tour, what she remembers most is the outhouse. Funny, huh? We're in Yankee Boy Basin at the Twin Falls, going on a little hike down. This is the pathway. We're up at about 11,000 feet right now. It's cool, but it's not cold. However, we do have some ominous gray clouds appearing on the horizon. And look at all those spring flowers that are blooming here in September. Okay, we're a little bit off the beaten path. But we are standing right next to the falls. All of this is a part of Yankee Boy Basin, surrounded by the San Juan Mountains with the lower falls right next to us. A basin is a valley is what it is, but it's shaped like a basin. And there's our vehicle that we've come in, and here is a beautiful video of the scenery around us. And it seemed like everywhere we would go by, there were so many waterfalls that were so pretty. And the, you know, the Yankee Boy Basin is known for its wildflowers. This is uh, the columbine, the state flower of Colorado. Now what we haven't talked about or shown you yet are the roads that we took to get the Yankee Boy Basin and also to Governor's Basin. And as you can see, uh, it was a shelf along the side of the mountain. And it was, uh, with passing other cars, it was uh, really a little kind of scary. But our driver, Don, was excellent. And if you think he drove this fast, he didn't. I, I speeded up the video, but I did want you to see the roads that we did go across. So we had a side trip that we really hadn't expected. Our guide did take us to Governor's Basin. It was up above Yankee Boy Basin, and here we are a thousand feet up looking back at Yankee Boy Basin. And it was cold up there, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, but the higher we got, yes, you're right, the colder it got, and of course we began to get some rain and sleet, but he had rain gear for us to put on. And uh, as Bruce said, we were a thousand feet up, so we had some beautiful views, and we came across this... Uh, Miners Boarding House. 300 miners lived here year-round. Our guide told us that they came down to the city only twice a year, and that was Christmas and 4th of July. Uh, Three-story high, uh, 100 men sleeping every night on each floor. <laughs> That's pretty rough living. The views from the top of the mountain were just beautiful as we looked around, and our guide on the way down showed us a mountain lake that had pink algae on the top. And of course, if you come up a mountain, you have to go down a mountain. <laughs> and so we did. We started back down and we had to uh, go back down those roads that uh, weren't very wide. And once again, I was so glad not to be driving. <laughs> yeah, and meeting other cars. And it was, uh, he was a wonderful, safe driver. And we were so happy with this tour. We won't forget our trip to Yankee Boy Basin and the beautiful Colorado scenery that day. We had a wonderful time with Colorado West Jeep Rental and Tours, and we would highly recommend them to anyone coming to Uray. We met the owner and she was very helpful. Our tour guide, Don, was excellent. The price was $59 a person, and uh, it was well worth that. And when we got up above the tree line, it was sleeting and uh, the temperatures uh, were in the low 30s in September. So that was a lot of fun. So we got a little damp and don't look too good right now, but it was wonderful. Well, we did have a great day. We left home at about 10 o'clock this morning and it's five o'clock and we've just pulled back into our RV park. We're so glad you came along. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and thank you for all the questions and comments you submit to the redhead. She loves to respond to those. Hey, God bless you all and remember, may God bless America. <laughs>